All right, as we get back into the animation, I have to remember that I have two Photoshop files I'm working on to build this animation. One is my assets file, and one is my stage file. So I open them both up, assets and stage. They look very similar, but in terms of their layers, they are very different. I like to have my assets off to the left, my stage off to the right. And I actually like to zoom in on them slightly differently so that they do look different. Right now, my stage has seven frames in it, which are the, the finished frames of my animation. Starts with the zoom and my character moving in and grabbing onto the coral. And now he's going to start shaking the coral around. Shake it all about. And so that's the next frame I need to build. The other thing I need to refer to as I'm building my animation is my storyboard, my plan, right? So I have that sketch. I'm going to go ahead and put that sketch right into Photo Bucket to acknowledge this assignment. And I'm going to open it up in preview just so I can refer to it on the screen. Of course, it's nice just to have it in your sketchbook in front of you as well. And you're going to label it SP20. You're... So right now, I'm at this part of my animation. And now I'm going into the middle stage. Well, I'll need some more assets, like the eyes bulging, things like that. So I can go into my assets folder. And I've built some of these things already, right? Um, but I also can just work with what I already have. So a little bit of the lighting, mess with that. A little bit of the atmosphere, mess with that. Keep pushing that back and forth. The creature itself, I want to uh, have it kind of shaking. Lock its feet. So it's going to pull back like that. And then I need the coral to go with it. And I think I'm just going to, let's see, just warp it. Uh, I think I have puppet work because it needs to be more localized. So when you want to isolate a certain section, that's where Puppet Warp comes in. I'll lock it here, 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 and then tug it here. It's just the difference between this and this. And then really, let's see. Let me warp my creature a little bit more. No. Puppet Warp does give you a lot of control, but it's a little time heavy. Okay. And now, do I want to move the mouth with it? Maybe just a little bit. Use my arrow keys. And then the cloud behind, keep moving that lightly, and then rotate the stars just a little bit. Okay, now I go up to the topmost layer that's visible. I hold down Option. I say Layer Merge Visible. Then I select all. And then I copy it all, Command C. And I go up to the stage and I paste Command V. So I have a pretty big jump there. And you know what? The head moves well, but the coral isn't moving the right way. So that's where you kind of judge it. So I'm going to delete that. We have to go back, deselect, delete this, and I just have to move the coral differently. So that's why animation is such a pain. You'll see it in the documentaries and things. People are always flipping back and forth. 
It's because you want to check each step, make sure the movement's going where you want it to. Now we're starting back after a weekend, so it makes sense that we're a little, we don't remember exactly where we put things before. But I want it to shake in this direction. There we go. Not the other way. I'll move the mouth up a little bit, and now this should be good. Go to the top layer, hold down Option, Merge Visible, select All, Command C, Copy, Command B, Paste. And now it looks like it's tugging on it, and that's better. So grabs it, bites down, tugs at it, and now I need to have it start chewing. Deselect, delete. Play with the lighting, play with the atmosphere. And now the creature, edit puppet warp, is going to bite down again. Lock the feet. Move the mouth. And now I need a new asset. So we get to create our own. So I'm going to zoom in and internally composite an eye. And this eye I am going to close. So what I, what I do is I cut the upper eyelid out. Then I transform it and warp it down. So it squints from the, from the top. And that's going to change the expression a little bit. Maybe warp it so it's a little bit softer. Then I can do the same thing with the lower eyelid. This is all internal compositing. Duplicate it, transform it. Shift it up. I'll warp it, and this way I get to condense and squint the eye whenever I want to. So I'm going to merge these two together, and I get some expression in the eye. Now I have a separate asset that I just created which squints the eye. I'm not going to close it all the way. So I'm going to label it eye squint and I keep it on a separate layer because I want to be able to open the eye again, right? And I want to be able to move that eye with the creature as I puppet warp the creature. And the reason I use the two files is I can always be reminded of what I had done before, right? So now I have him going forward and squinting and his mouth is closing a little bit, right? And so it will look a little bit more like he's chewing. And I think I'll get rid of some of the coral at this point. So I'm just going to cut off some of it. Because he's chewing it down. And that reveals more of his uh, mouth. So that's why it's nice to have the two Photoshop files to work between. Okay, now I can play with... I haven't moved his feet in a little bit, so maybe just warp his feet a little bit. So they feel a little dynamic. All right, and now maybe move the mouth forward a little bit. Just so we get a lot of movement. Yep, good. 
Okay. So now I can move the clouds. Just doing Command T and rotate the stars. All right. Go to the top, hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible, select all, Command C to copy it all, Command V to paste it in as my new frame. Now what's nice is how those stars start to rotate very evenly as I play them in order. So now the eye changes a little bit. What are they called again? Like objects or something? The, uh, like uh, the assets? Yeah. yeah. So the assets we're building to alter the animation. And if it were stop motion or something, we'd have to sculpt different heads for each expression. And here we do it all within layers, within the assets file. Okay, the next asset I need to build is that the eyes bulge. So I found these. Some of them are kind of disturbing. But um, I like this one. Let's see, will blue show up? Eh. Let's do this one. So I'm going to bring in this PNG asset. It's already nicely cut out, right? <laughs> and bring it in. And this is going to be for comedic effect, but it doesn't mean it needs to be too cartoony and out there. So let's work on this asset a little bit. I have to rasterize it. I'm going to call this bulged eye. And I like to work backwards, right? So if I put it underneath the eye squint, then I can actually take the eye squint and just take its opacity down a little bit, right? And that will make the bulged eye look a little bit more believable within this lighting. And then I can also just take the opacity of the bulged eye down a little bit. So it slowly gets stronger and stronger. All right. Um, I also want to move the creature. So I will use Puppet Warp again. And this time I want the creature to kind of sit back and swallow. So I'm going to move the head back and up. All right. I'm going to move the mouth. and rotate it to be almost closed. Right. And then I can move the eye and the eye squint together by holding down shift, select both of them, use the move tool to move it back in place. Now I think I want to give this a moment, right? So at first I'm going to do it like this. I'll play with the lighting. And I'll play uh, with the coral and delete a little bit more of it. Maybe show kind of it jagged as it's been bitten off. And then let it kind of recoil. Because between these two, oh, you know, the one thing I didn't do was move the coral between these two. And so I need to at least move it a little bit here. So edit, puppet warp. Why the fewer elements, the better. And I'm just going to just shift it a tiny bit. Maybe cut off this bit of it too. So we can really focus on the reaction of the creature. All right, so now. I play with the cloud in the background, got to keep that going, and play with the stars, just rotate them slightly. Play with the atmosphere. Okay, now, hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible, select all, Command C, copy all, Command V, paste in. All right, so we've got a fun little expression there. Um, I think I want one more to get to the middle. 
panel where his eyes are really bulged. 